and, and Magnus, also, wow, Magnus going for this. Interesting. No, I think it's not Magnus going for it, it's Tari going for it, no? No, no, of course, yeah, but this is the line that has recently been. Okay, let's take it slow. So Magnus plays d4, knight f3, knight c3, this position, which he's had a ton recently. And Tari goes for this line that recently Wesley So has been playing, pawn to e4, and just d takes e4 here. And Peter, you probably know this, but if you let your Lila zero run in the position after knight c3, c5, no, after knight c3, um, then after a little thinking time, we'll give this exact line for black with like zero, zero, seven evaluation. Like we'll give c5 first move, cd5, cd4, queen d4, ed5, e4, d4. That's what has come to Lila. No more excitement, you just get rid of all the pieces directly and you say equal. Yeah, well, actually, I, I didn't know this. I mean, usually I'm getting to a position and then I start to use Lila, but not, uh, not right from the very beginning. Ah, that's the difference. I just, in the, in the starting position, I switch it on, show me the way, and this has been the way recently. Yeah, well, actually, it's, it was very, very funny because when Wesley played it in, uh, what, in the skilling, yeah, it was the skilling master, skilling open, uh, of the Champions Tour, he, he used it for some reason, you know, I, I didn't know this development and I was kind of suspicious about this whole stuff that, okay, why do you do this and, and is it really good? I mean, it doesn't look so good. And then uh, afterwards, okay, first of all, uh, Wesley kept on playing with success and he, he kind of blocked Magnus in it. Okay, he did lose one game, but then he also won one, which is actually for this opening, I think like a miracle that in, in two games you, you get two decisive games and uh, one win with white and one with black. And after the broadcast, uh, I mean, we had, after Wesley won the tournament, then we had him in our broadcast and he was asking my very opinion, you know, and it was like shocking for me that, wow, Wesley treats me with so much respect that Peter, uh, probably you are a big expert of this line. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? And, you know, honestly, I, I just never looked at this. I mean, it's basically maybe one of the very few things in, in the whole chess opening history that I never ever looked at, but before seeing Wesley employ it, I, I really had no clue that this exists. Are you happy that such new Tabias keep opening up that even you haven't seen before? Or do you think, Ugh, come on, I put in all this work, at some point it should be finished, but there's always new nonsense? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, uh, it's more like I would be more uh, thrilled if, if all these new things would be somehow more, more encouraging and more interesting. I mean, this is definitely, as Wesley called, it might be a new Berlin. And I'm not sure that uh, many of the chess fans are so happy about this. If, uh, if suddenly against D4, there is also a way like, you know, you go immediately for some end game and you might be able to analyze it. In fact, I feel that this position is much less rich. I mean, the Berlin end game is extremely rich and very complex. Uh, that's uh, basically one of the reasons why it's uh, so popular and it, it's kept on played on the highest level and also in different levels. But this one, I don't feel that it's so complex. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it looks like suffering, but on the other hand, if Black uh, proves that he might be able to, to handle it and work out all the things and be precise in the critical moment, then it's a little bit unpleasant. Yeah, it's just move by move and Sotir is confirming that actually from the very starting position, if you switch on your Lila Zero, the, one of the hot new engines, that it gives this very position. Like that's his main line of chess. 